Hello, this is Yaakov Kornenberg from Jerusalem, and tonight we'll be doing class, a new class on the series of classes, a new class and a new series that we're going to be starting tonight. The series will be Scorpio Ascendant and Mars, the ruling planet, and the different uh, signs. Uh, but first, I want to, in this class tonight, I want to give a general introduction to a Scorpion Ascendant. Uh, Scorpion Ascendant, I uh, see, I, I want to teach you a general rule. Maybe I haven't made this clear enough. There's a general rule when you look at the Ascendant, you look at the, if, if you can't remember what a Scorpio is, what you do is break it down into a, its components. When you can't remember an Ascendant. And then you'll always get ideas what to talk about. For example, is Scorpio a male or a female? So Scorpio is a female ascendant, and so it's going to have a, more of a reactive nature than an initiator. Right? It's more of a reactive type of personality. Uh, it doesn't initiate things as much, and so that, that's uh, why it's a night. It's um, it's the night side of Mars. Right? And so Mars is a. Mars is a fighter, but here it's, uh, since it's female, it's a more defensive fighter. It defends itself. It knows how to defend itself. But it's not so much an attacker. Okay, so, so it has a feminine nature, uh, more than a masculine nature. That's the first thing you, you learn about a Scorpio. Then you think more, well, which element is Scorpio? And you come to the idea that Scorpio is a water sign. So when you have a water sign, you know that emotions are going to be very important in the person's life, right? Is is going to want uh, he or she that they're, they're going to want uh, they're going to want emotional fulfillment. They're going to want emotional security, right? The Scorpio is very thick. Uh, so well, we'll come back to that. And and it's uh, so uh, the emotions are very important, and and they are very complicated. Scorpios is very complicated emotions. They're very uh, because they're so defensive and uh, and protective and and things like that. So they get into complicated relational uh, relationships and relation relational situations that. Uh, can be quite uh, complicated. Uh, that, that seems to be the nature of Scorpio. I find it in my practice that the Scorpios, they have uh, very complicated interpersonal relationships. And they can be tend to be very jealous and uh, they have a tendency towards jealousy and, uh, and certain areas like that that they can make life complicated in a relationship. Also, you want to look at if it's a fixed sign, a cardinal, or a mutable. And so Scorpio is a fixed sign, so already you know it's fixed. And so it's going to be more fixed emotionally. It's not going to be, um, if it finds someone it, it, it's emotionally attached to, it's not going to leave it. That's why it can be jealous, for example, because it's so fixed. But the Scorpio tends to be um, fairly faithful on the most hand because of this uh, fixity. They they tend to have an emotional attachment and stay with it. They don't give up an attachment very easily. Uh, so that's again the fixed the fixed uh, the fixed element of a Scorpio. So already you have a, you know a number of things about a Scorpio. It's a female. It's feminine nature. It's water. It's it's connected to the element of water. It's a fixed sign. And let's see what else we can say about Scorpio is connected to the eighth house, right? In Adam Rishon's chart, Scorpio rules the eighth house, and the eighth house is connected with uh, death affairs, and it's connected with um, sex and pregnancy, and it. Uh, and it rules that area of the body, and um, and it's also connected with mysteries. With the uh, it's also connected with the mysteries. Uh, uh, people who have the, the strong uh, Scorpio ascendants, they're very they're very interested in getting to the depths of things. Right, the eighth house is the house of secrets, and people who have a strong Scorpio, they want to get to the depths of things. 
They tend to be the deepest learners, the deepest thinkers. Right? Uh, Scorpio and Taurus, they're the deepest learners, deepest thinkers. Right? And it's, again, it's a, it's a very sexual type of sign because the eighth house rules sexuality. And, and they met, uh, Scorpio is the ma, is the man's sexual sign, and Taurus the woman's. My teacher always used to say, a man who, a Scorpio man who walks into a room, all the women feel it. A Taurus woman walks into the room, all the men feel it. So that, that's uh, a lot of that energy. And so also, they're also interested, like in the eighth house, rules all sorts of stuff, like, uh, mysteries, like Kabbalah, and, um uh, uh, Kabbalah and it rules astrology is there and uh, psychology a lot of psychologists psychiatrists they also have strong eighth houses um, all these things are connected with the eighth house the house of mystery And let's see, what else can we say about a Scorpio? So that's the house that uh, rules in. Its ruling planet is Mars. Right? So Martian nature is a fighter, right? A warrior. Right? The Mars is the knife. Uh, my teacher always used to say, wherever you see Mars, uh, you see a knife. Right? They know how to cut things up and break it down. They can cut things up and... And they're, they're, they're tough people, right? They don't take life, uh, in a laid back way. They, you know, there's what, what they want. They, they, they go for it. They, right? The Martian is very, uh, let's say, the opposite of Venus. Venus is always wants to be relationship. You always can learn about a sign, another rule. You can always learn about a sign by looking at its opposite. In other words, Venus, if you look at Venus, what does Venus want? Venus wants peace, harmony, uh, relationships, uh, people working together. Mars is more egotistical. Mars wants what it wants and it doesn't care about anybody else. So, so that it's a different type of, you can see from the opposites, so you, you get an idea of the Martian nature more. Mars can be very egotistical, bad Mars anyway can be very egotistical, very not caring about anybody else but themselves, looking out for number one. Right? That's the Martian nature. So already you see all different things when you start to take um when you take a sign and start to break it down into its components. And then of course you look at the name, a Scorpio. Scorpio is the idea of the defensive uh, person who they call a scorpion, someone attacks it, it stings. Right? So they're also going to be very, uh, have a stinging wit. They can be very uh, cutting in their speech, they can, things like that. Um, so all told, Scorpio is a very interesting, um, it is a very interesting sign, and and we're now we're gonna uh, starting next week we're gonna go through each of the ruling planets and uh, in in which sign it is, and we'll see how the Scorpio expresses itself depending on which sign that uh, Mars is in. And I hope everybody enjoyed the class, and I thank them for listening.